<sighs> Ooh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow Toaster Strolls. Welcome back to the channel. This is your host, most aka Awesome Most Nelson. And real quick, y'all, I said to myself, you know what? Actually, funny enough, I was going to record this a little earlier in the day. But I said to myself, let me get my stream out the way. If y'all don't know, I do stream. I'll link all that in the description box down below. Okay? But anyhow, y'all, I said to myself, you know what? Let me go ahead. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I don't mean to fidget around with the camera. All right. Yes, I'm patting my head. All right. As such. Okay, y'all. All right. And please excuse. Uh, y'all can see it. All right. It's crooked. Now, I just told my mother that. But she don't believe me. My head crooked. Uh huh. She had it right last time, but now, hmm. But well, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Anyhow, y'all, that's not the purpose of this video nor the topic subject. But I said to myself, before I go exercise, and just so you guys see, your boy working that stretching. That's, hold on, y'all can see it. That's stretching right there. Okay? Get them legs limbered up if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, y'all, again, not the subject matter of discussion today, y'all. But real quick, y'all, I said to myself, let me get this out, the, out my system because some of you guys who may not be able to tune to my last stream when I was discussing about good faith and bad faith I said to myself let me go ahead and try to do a kind of like a quick clip no version for you guys on YouTube so essentially the main premise of the stream was asking the question really what's the difference between good faith and bad faith right and also in addition to that does good faith have its place within our society or in human nature? And I would say, yes, it does. But of course, to get back to the original question, what's really what, you know, and please excuse my neighbor, he's, you know, more his lawn. So, you gotta excuse that in the background. But now, not lose focus. Hold on a second, y'all. <clears throat> As I'm coming down here. But the focus is, and my mind is, yes, ultimately they want in the same or put it like this they're two sides to the coin but i would say in the coin in itself what is it made out of i would say it is made out of intention and the energy that you put behind that intention so here's the thing i would say that bad intention does have its place in our society again and within human in human nature but like i said it's the intention and the energy that you're putting behind that matters as well so don't make the assumption that, oh, we should only work off of good faith, never bad faith. That's not the case. And actually, a quick example I would give y'all, in my eyes, are better a great example as to how bad faith can lead to positive change. Is if you guys have ever, I'm not going to spoil the show, by all means, if you haven't watched at least season two. I mean, yeah. There's a show on, <laughs> on uh, HBO Max, it's called euphoria now again you can go look up this uh on youtube if you want to in terms of looking at reactions and whatnot because they only have two seasons up right now i believe they have a third season coming up not this year but it's probably gonna be next year i'm thinking anyhow y'all again not to spoil it but the main character her name is rue and you follow her journey several other characters in season one but in season two you can see how her being an addict or recovering addict has affected her family and she has a bit of a breakdown or a relapse kind of situation again for those who are more familiar with a more technical term than what i'm trying to say please feel free to correct me but anyhow y'all after that episode you know seeing how because she has a sister she has a mother and her father passed away due to cancer because she had all that med medication or is implied that because all that medication was at their disposal she took all she took to utilizing those substances to try to get closer to her father especially when he passed away and she was already medically medicated at a young age so anyhow there's a certain scene towards the end of the, of the season where she's with her mother laying down watching tv and at some point her mother just let it be known like look sweetheart you ain't gonna be 17 all your life you're gonna be 18 and by 18 technically i can keep you the fuck out of my house because we're not about to tolerate this going in and out in and out of you doing this especially your sister who is i believe the sister's technically about two maybe about three years younger so she's about 13 to 14 years older excuse me 13 to 14 years young than her sister again about 17 so here's the thing 
the whole purpose of when she says to her daughter, like, look, if it comes down to it, if I can only save one of my babies, I'm going to pick her over you. Because at the very least, I still have a bit of a chance to do it with her versus you. You've already crossed that threshold. And you'll come back as many times, but you cross it nevertheless. And the rules a little taken back a bit because she's like, well, I mean, uh, I didn't know in this and that, that, this that, and the third, what was going on with her sister. But her mother made it clear, like, you proclaim like you're her sister. You proclaim you keep an eye on her. But again, you didn't know about her grades. You didn't know what's going on in her social life. And she made a lot of good points. So in that moment, she's meeting her daughter in bad faith. But her bad faith comes from a good place. And just reminding her daughter, like, sweetheart, at the end of the day, you're an adult. If the, and please excuse my language, y'all. But if you want to, basically, this is what her mother was trying to get at her at is this. Sweetheart, if you want to self-delete yourself, fine, do it. But, again, get it, you know, like, almost like, kind of get over with them. Stop going, going back and forth, back and forth to where it's tearing down this family. Because, you know, it's kind of, the, the irony in it is, again, the whole purpose Rue takes drugs is not necessarily to self-delete herself, but it's to kind of be, like, in an in-between space between death and, like, that peaceful silence and i think it's in that silence she finds herself being very reminiscent and feeling the closest to her father and again not to spoil it by all means because i'll tell you guys it's worth a show it's a show worth watching but anyhow to the point being is to say this y'all we <laughs> excuse me i don't mean to be all over the place like i said y'all i'm getting ready to go ahead and get some exercise in me and it's hot well it's not hot it's humid i'll see her but anyhow just to complete my thoughts on this, the point being what I just want to bring this up to you guys is say this. Right now, just understand something. It's easy for us to fall into bad faith versus good faith. It takes exercise. It takes work. It takes energy to do good faith. But understand there is a time and a place to be within your bad faith. But again, make sure it comes from a genuine place. If that makes sense. And don't be afraid to expand on that if someone brings that up to your attention. You get what I'm saying? But anyhow, y'all. Like I said, not trying to get too much on a tangent, y'all. I just want to drop that on your foreheads real quick if I may. And I will catch you guys in the next vid, okay? And don't worry, y'all. Again, I'm going to try and get back to that consistency. I promise y'all that. I'm going to get back to my consistency. I promise y'all that. But before I leave, if you would do your boy a kindness, like, follow, subscribe, share with your folks. And bring your foreheads in because you know I got to give you your kisses before you out of here. Come here. <laughs> Alright, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Namaste. And tell down. Is there anything else in particular I want to share with you guys? Mm, not really. I think that's it. But I'll catch y'all later. Bye.